Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to implement uh, car tracking throughout the waypoints uh, for the AI cars. And inside player cars, you can see that we have the radial collider, and it has a tag of progress. And also, we have added this script progress tracker script to this uh, barrier. Uh, okay. And uh, in the same way, we can actually add the uh, okay, this barrier and barrier. Okay, so in the same way, we can add this uh, progress tracker script to the enemy cars as well. But for the every enemy car, we have to add a different name of that collider, uh, different tag or different name. So if we go to collider for the enemy yellow car, you can see that we have a colliders. So let's select the front collider maybe and uh, we can duplicate this collider no problem. This collider is also, it's not triggered collider. So I will just select this collider and uh, let's uh, duplicate it and uh, indeed we can actually create a new collider no problem so let's create a new collider so we can actually create a 3d object or we can actually create an empty object and we can add a collider so i will just create a cube maybe and uh, we can just move it like this we can place it at our desired place and uh, then this will be used for the uh, for collisions with bar barrier as well so here you can see that this cube and uh, now we uh, will add this progress tracker script to this cube progress tracker script to this cube and we'll make this cube is trigger we don't want to show the mesh render so let's delete this and for this cube i will just name it barrier collider or whatever you want you can name it and uh, here i'm just using barrier collider and the thing is that uh, we should uh, unpack the prefab before doing this thing so it's always a better practice and so now you can see barrier collider is added so the thing is that we will add some more tags here so you can see that we have added a progress tag for this the player card and uh, here for the uh, we can say progress ai and uh, we will just say yellow car with this and uh, we will also create progress ai and blue car and then we have uh, progress ai sorry, and uh, red car and then we have progress AI black car so now we have added four tags for the four enemy cars so it's uh, always important and uh, now for the enemy yellow car we will just go to barrier collider and add progress AI yellow car like this save it and uh, now we will just uh, hide this thing we will just save this prefab and now we will just go to enemy blue we will just go to the prefab unpack completely we will just go to colliders press f to focus and uh, here we will just add another box Here and we can arrange it and we will do this with all four cars and uh, then I will just move back with the video so here I just added it we don't need mesh render we need is trigger we need 
to be progress AI blue car we need progress tracker script to this collider and we will just rename this to barrier collider save it and similarly for red and black car I will do the same technique and we will move back with the video okay so now the thing is that we will just go to save script and we will actually add our cars here uh, in the save script we have very added a variable for int and i have named these a uh, lap number equal to uh, ai car black lap number equal to zero blue lap number red lap number yellow lap number you can have your own cars with for example car one two three four or any other um, a way you can use for your cars to be registered and move further to our lab script and uh, inside lab script uh, we will just uh, uh, I come to this uh, after in this on trigger enter script we will just come here uh, and uh, inside this uh, uh, function which is the on trigger enter function we will uh, say that if other game object dot compare tag progress ai black car then we will get ai car black num lap number from save script and we are adding plus plus to it and then similarly for blue car for red car and for yellow car so similar process will be here okay so uh, after a lap number we will just go to progress tracker script and inside progress tracker script we will just say that uh, actually uh, we will say here we will nothing uh, to here for now uh, later on we will come here but after lap script you can go to the progress waypoint script and uh, in this script we will just uh, add some other lap and uh, positions here so if for example you have maximum laps of 20 you can add 20 positions here uh, i just assumed that for our game the maximum number of laps may be three so that's why i have just added three lap uh, positions so that you will not be so confused if you have uh, uh, for example 20 laps 10 laps you can add 10 positions uh, similar to this okay so lap 3 lap 4 position equal to 0 lap 5 position equal to 0 like this okay and uh, then after adding these uh, lap uh, positions uh, the separate laps we will come here and uh, inside uh, after uh, inside the on trigger enter uh, function we will just uh, add this line of code uh, if other dot game object dot compare tag equal to progress ai black car then we are getting if save script black car lab number equal to one then we are getting lab one position plus plus then if the lab number is two we are getting lab two position plus plus and then three position plus plus so we'll just copy the same code here and uh, we will just paste it one time two time three time because we have four cars and uh, we will just uh, change the name of the cars so i will just add a little space to this so that our things should be categorized so we have a blue car and we will have blue lab number we will have blue lab number we will have blue lab number here as well then we will have red car and we will have red lab number although the uh, code is too much and the line of codes are too much actually but uh, it's quite simple and easy so here we can add red lap number and then we have uh, yellow car and we will have yellow lap number
and uh, yellow and the yellow lap number like this okay so now what we'll do in progress waypoint uh, we will uh, actually remove this line of code where we have position plus plus save script uh, player position equal to position and instead of this line of code we will add if say script lab number equal to one we will in add lab one position plus plus and save script player position equal to lab one position and then you can just copy and paste the same line of code and we can add two for the second lab position and three for the third lab position game should work and uh, so let's move back to our game and uh, inside the game we can just select the ui where is ui canvas and here you can see we have total laps so for example let's add two laps total laps and total cars are four we have four opponent cars so the fifth is our uh, player car so we can add five cars here and uh, now for this i think we didn't have deleted the mesh collider so save it and uh, now everything is fine i hope so so let's go to game view and i will just mute the audio and let's uh, see the positions so here you can see we will start and hopefully we will have on first position you can see and now you can see that uh, when, when the cars are actually uh, yeah actually now the position is updated with the uh, waypoints and you can see that now we are on fifth position all cars are far away from us and uh, we are on actually lab one and uh, similarly if we uh, now you can see that positions are updated successfully and uh, the delay in update uh, updation of a position is due to uh, the uh, waypoint uh, 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 cubes okay so if not far away from each other then uh, the position will be updated uh, instantly okay so let's go let's chase that cars and you can see that uh, race is quite uh, difficult I will just try it again to recheck the positions and uh, this time we will maintain our position to 2, 3 so that we can test the position in a proper way. So now you can see we will be on first position and let's move further and now we should be on second position and now we will have on fourth position and third position and now you can see that our positioning is updating absolutely fine and dynamically so now uh, you will see that position will be uh, updated to five hopefully because we are on fifth number now but after some time the position may, may update it because uh, due to away points so you can see now the position is five by five we are fail actually so that's great position is updating now and uh, we will move further with next video